From the trading desk of Daily Forex, this is Christopher Lewis looking at the upcoming May 13th trading session in the Euro dollar. You can see we tried to rally here during the session on Tuesday, kept some of the gains, uh, getting above the 1.12 level. Somewhat significant that we could, but really at the end of the day, uh, the 100 day EMA continues to flatten out. That tells me more consolidation, probably between about 113.5 and 112. Doesn't matter though, I think this is a positive market. There is the possibility, let me go ahead and get rid of all this, that we see some weakness in the short term. We have several shooting star candles in the same area. We have three out of the last four candles. Okay, fine, we pull back. But I think 110 is about as far as we go. That was significant um, resistance previous, previously and we have not retested it. So it would make sense if we did. Uh, that being said, this market should find support below, and we think, uh, I should say, I think, go to the 115 level, given enough time. It's going to be a grind. This is not some type of, you know, just straight shot to the moon. We've already seen that. All things being equal, though, what I'm starting to see in this is a W pattern, which is a, it's a complex W, but it is a W. It's a very positive pattern a reversal pattern i think we've seen the low in the euro i was aiming for parity i think 105 was it so uh, starting to change uh, it is essentially a trend change as far as i can see and above 115 i don't think there's anybody in the world that's going to argue that so i think that's the next serious test uh, coincidentally looking at the uh, oil markets same pattern so I think this is more of an anti-dollar play. I don't really like the euro because there's so many unanswered questions. But let's face it, as soon as they get fears, you know, off to the sidelines about Greece, the euro rallies for a while. And then something Greek happens again and we sell off yet again. So we're probably going through another cycle of euro positivity. How far we go, who knows this time. But at the end of the day, I think it's oversold. I think finally value investors are starting to come on board. And as a result, uh, I look for any pullback to offer buying opportunities. Keep in mind, though, it's going to be choppy.